You are watching News Made Easy. I am Anandya Chakravarti. Stop blaming farmers for the pollution over Delhi because it's now clear that the winter pollution that we face in Delhi, only 4% of that comes from crop burning or farm fires. That is the data that has been presented to the Supreme Court by the government. Only 4% in winters and 7% in summer. But essentially, our problem is usually in winter because of the climate uh, over Delhi at that time where uh, the smoke that comes in from farm fires, the pollution that comes in gets trapped, right? And we get a few days of terrible smog and it happens to be around that Diwali season. All right, so it's possible that farm fires do contrib contribute significantly to pollution on those few days, but overall, it is not a big pollutant at all. However, even for those few days, it is actually possible for us to ensure that farmers do not burn crops, right? And how can that be done? To understand that, we have to understand why farmers burn the paddy stubble, right? Because what happens is that they have this very short window, right before Diwali, about 21 uh, and uh, after Diwali, this period, uh, where uh, they have about three to two to three weeks in which they have to harvest the standing paddy crop, the rice crop, and then they have to sow uh, the winter wheat crop. Okay, and uh, what they use in Punjab Haryana, because there's a significant amount of mechanization in these states, they use combined harvesters to cut them. These machines, when they cut uh, the standing crop, they cut it from slightly from the top. Right? And they leave about 8 to 10 inches of stubble on the ground, which has to be uprooted before the wheat crop can be sown. Now, uh, farmers can either put in hard manual labor to uproot that uh, stubble, or they can use expensive machines to uproot the stubble, or the third option, which is what they do, is they can burn it down. All right. Now, uh, why do farmers not cut the stubble and use it. After all, stubble, that straw, could be used as fodder. Well, the problem is that the paddy grown in this region, right? the stubble that is left behind has a very high silica content. And what that means is that it is not fit for uh, um, consumption by cattle. So cattle can't uh, be fed that as fodder. So that silica is absolute waste. That straw is waste. It cannot be sold for anything. And uh, Lacks of tons of uh, f uh, this stubble is actually uh, produced every year, left behind every year, and it's a huge issue. Even storage of moving that from the farm and moving it to a storage house is a huge issue for farmers. So it's a huge cost. Okay, some things that have been introduced is a thing called a happy seeder, and there's another machine uh, called the super seeder. Now, these what they do is that they attach to the harvester. And what they do is that when the harvester is cutting the crop, these basically uproot the straw, lay it on the ground itself, and simultaneously they uh, sow the wheat crop. Okay. Now, what is what is it supposed to do? The straw lying on the ground is supposed to get uh, essentially uh, uh, decompose over a period of time and provide nutrients to the ground and. Uh, one of the things that the Punjab government said when it wanted to push happy seeders was this would lead to higher yields. Farmers found that that did not happen for two reasons. The happy seeder was unable to uh, pick out uh, tough straw, tough uh, stubble. It was very difficult for the happy seeder to do that. It couldn't do that. That still had to be done manually. And uh, another thing is that for uh, um, the crop, when, it, uh, when the fodder... Um, uh, the stubble was laid onto the ground, it would take a very long time to decompose. And for the first few years, far farmers actually noticed that in the first two years after using it, uh, their yield actually went down and it uh, returned to the whatever they had before using happy fodder two, three years later. Most farmers after, uh, say uh, that they did not benefit from happy seeders and many said that even after using the happy seeder, they had to burn their crop. They had to burn the stubble because the happy seeder could not uh, pick up a lot of the tough stubble. Now, that is why happy seeder is a problem. The second problem with happy seeder is that it costs a lot of money. Uh, farmers get 50% discount uh, subsidy for the, from the government if they buy it individually and if they buy it as a group, it is an 80% discount. 
subsidy but even then it's an investment and let us understand that farm incomes have been very low the government's own reports tell us that farm incomes are very low even in Punjab and Haryana uh, on an average a farmer doesn't earn more than uh, 18 to 25,000 in that range average range per month right? which is not a lot of money as you know right so our idea that the farmer is very rich and yet they're burning that is not true which is why farmers say we can get this cut we can get it removed just give us 200 rupees extra per quintal that is all we need 200 rupees per extra per quintal means 2 rupees extra per kilo a cost that the government has to bear because this is a public good if that money is given to farmers and farmers are and given well before the paddy sowing season because it can't be that they are asked to uh, cut off the straw using their own labor or putting in money and then they have to wait for many days to get the money back because they need that money in harvesting season to buy seed fertilizers very various other things so essentially it is this 200 rupee per quintal which is the key thing that farmers require if they get that then the problem of pollution caused by farm fires that few days three four five days that is calm that will disappear and that's a cost that uh, the affluent have to bear so that the government can take taxes from affluent people and give it to farmers or the government has to borrow and give it to farmers this is a health issue it's a public good not just for people sitting in cities like Delhi or in other cities near Delhi which is Delhi NCR but also for the farmers themselves because they also do not want to face the health hazards of burning their crops that's the show today keep watching news click and do subscribe to us as well